It's been a long time since the reunion of the ultimatum. And when it comes to these people, you know that their lives will never be boring. Do you you always yell over me and you, you want to threaten me? For I once, you're actually in the wrong. So where are they now? Madeline and Colby. The couple definitely seemed like one of the most on and off during the show. I knew she was the one. <laughs> you play with her, you're not playing with me. <laughs> However, after Madeline decided to commit, she committed all the way, from getting engaged to married on literally the same day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and one of the main things that she stated during the reunion was that they're not fighting for themselves anymore, they're fighting for each other and their family. Trust, listen. For sure. Aww. Which is actually really sweet. And in May of 2022, they welcomed their first daughter, Josie. The couple is also planning on having a bigger wedding with friends and family in the future. Alexis and Hunter. Though the couple left early on in the season, they've been going strong ever since. And I mean, I would expect nothing less because they literally got engaged early. And the couple officially got married on June 18th, 2022. The celebrations were held in California on a beautiful sunny day. But one question is, where was the cast of The Ultimatum? It seems as though none of The Ultimatum cast got an invite to the couple's nuptials. Awkward. I wonder how that made them feel. Though Alexis and Hunter didn't do the entire journey, they were still there at the reunion. And to be fair, they did have kind of clashing opinions with some of the castmates. I'm not attracted to you. So it looks like none of them got the invite. On the season finale, Shanique and Randall got engaged. Since then, Shanique has come forward saying that she was genuinely surprised when Randall popped the question because she didn't know where he stood. Once we like got out of this, like real life sets back in. And even though she gave an enthusiastic yes, it didn't take long for them to realize that there were some fundamental issues in their relationship. They, the couple ended up splitting up for six months to grow and work on themselves. Since then, the couple has been going strong, but taking it slow. They have tried to take the pressure off their relationship by taking it day by day instead of giving it an ultimatum. And it's always a true sign of how much people love each other when they realize that they need to take a step back, figure things out, and then come back together to make the longevity of the relationship work. They seem so much wiser beyond their years. Showing once again that communication is key. Zay and Ray turned into a firestorm. Though the couple originally ended on a civil note at the reunion, it was anything but. You always f***ing do this. You and for those of us wondering why it was as severe as a reaction as it was, that in parts of the reunion that were actually cut out of the episode, Zay was trying to outraise new relationship. Not only was that not a great move on Zay's part, but on top of that, Ray's new relationship was with a woman. I have been with uh, one person. She's amazing. And so Ray knew that she would not only have to address the new relationship, but her sexuality as well. And that's a double whammy. Ray also later came forward saying that Zay has blocked her on everything. Sheesh, talk about messy. Since the reunion, Zay has stayed single. On top of that, it doesn't look like things are going too, too well for him because he got two DUIs and got arrested two days in a row. Ray, on the other hand, seems to be doing pretty well. There is some speculation that the mystery woman that Ray has been dating could be Emily Walker. However, neither of them have actually confirmed the relationship. On top of that, Ray has said that she would be open to a relationship with Jake down the line and that they're still really good friends. Do I smell some possible tea here? Jake is still single. Though he agreed with Ray that it wasn't good timing for them to start a new relationship, it is clear that he is still hung up on her. What? Okay. However, he's still very much so enjoying the single life. And though he keeps it pretty private on social media, it seems like he is living his best life right now. April, on the other hand, is in a committed relationship with a man who treats her right and makes it clear that he wants to marry her. The pair started dating shortly after production on the show ended and have been going strong ever since. She boasts about how wonderful he is on social media and isn't afraid to show a little PDA. Not gonna lie, they're super cute. 
Nate and Lauren. Though their time on the show was pretty controversial, they are doing way better off screen than they ever did on screen. Thank goodness, because even they agreed that that proposal was cringy. The couple has gone to couples therapy and agreed to have one kid together, and Nate even re-proposed to Lauren in a much more romantic setting. And they're officially getting married on October 1st, 2022. Woo woo, another wedding, but uh, Let's see if any of the Ultimatum cast gets invited this time. So we have new relationships, single Pringles, newlyweds, and new parents on our hands. And with that, I think I can safely say that these firecrackers will keep us on our toes on and off the screen. For all things Ultimatum and reality, give this video a thumbs up and follow us at The Things Reality. Because who doesn't love a good cup of reality? I'm Emily. Thanks for watching. See you next time.